Good evening and welcome to Western New York Athletics uh, High School Weekly. This is Frank Wolf. I'm with Francis Beck. Uh, it's been a few weeks since we've done this, Francis, so welcome back. It's good to see you again. Yeah, it's good to be back here. I like our new studio here with our new setup. I, 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 I love it, I have to say. It looks kind of professional. What about you? <laughs> yeah, um, I'm not used to this much professionalism when I'm sitting down doing a podcast. <laughs> Uh, with you. So yeah, it looks pretty good. I'm excited about it. We have Josh Pullman came in from West Seneca West now at Canisius to kind of uh, give us a nice kick in the rear and say, hey, you guys, you want to look good or not? You're going to need my services. So after what he did with that uh, West Seneca West football team, it was like a no brainer. So we kind of hired him right on the spot. Yeah, and if it's... you guys haven't seen the documentary, you guys got, you got to see it. It's, it's one of the best things I've seen about, about a local team. Like <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, you know, he deserves all the accolades that he's going to get out of that. And uh, like I said, we're very lucky to have him. And he got, you know, on the mic where it says WNY Athletics, he had those done for us. Very nice. I mean, the guy's a pro, so we're lucky to have him. But uh, so it's been a while. I mean, we had, we crowned a state champion since the last time we've really done this. Yeah. Um, you know, today's show, it, it's kind of like the old other podcasts that we've done in the past. Um, today we have Emma Faso from Cash to talk a little bit about girls hockey and how that season's going. You're going to sit down with her and have a nice chat. Uh, Thomas Cesari, uh, you know him from Grand Island. He's a football player there, and he's also a hockey player. And a lacrosse player. He's going to the next level. You like interrupting me. I forgot about that. It's been a while since we've been together. <laughs> but, yes, Thomas will be here. They had a game today against Kenmore East, your Bulldogs, and they had a tie. So uh, Coach Prey doing a heck of a job with those Bulldogs uh, as of late. So Tom Cesari will be here. Nate Murdy, speaking of the Bulldogs, the Kenmore East basketball and football player, the quarterback, he's going to be live in studio with us. Uh, we'll get his thoughts on how the season's going, and we'll talk a little boys basketball. I believe you'll be doing most of that. Um, girls basketball, Roger Weiss from Inside High School Sports will be here. We have Matt O'Rourke. Uh, he came on the scene for WNY not too long ago. He'll be bringing you up to date on all the latest in Section 6 and Monsignor Martin Wrestling. So we're excited to have him, him here today. Uh, and I think that's it as far as guests go. Um, yeah. Th th those are the only people I know that are dropping by. We won't have any phone calls, uh, uh, so you don't have to worry about us uh, taking calls and that kind of thing. It's, it's more of just a live sit-down interview type style as to how we're going to go about this and, uh, and things of that nature. We'll talk about uh, what happened at Maple Grove last weekend with Roger. I know I want to get his thoughts on everything that happened with Kurt Fisher. Um, I got a tweet earlier from Zach Fisher, his son, who sounds like he's going to be going to Chautauqua Lake uh, next year for his senior year to play football there and maybe even finish out the rest of the year there. It's certainly possible. Um, it really sucks what's going on down there from uh, from the Fisher standpoint, but you know we'll have to see, and we'll get Roger's thoughts on that in a little while. Um, really, that's that's about the basis of the show for today. Uh, there are some announcements. I've got a couple from Pete Schneider here. Uh, he's the Monsignor Martin guy. Um, he put he holds all together. All, he holds the glue to the Monsignor Martin uh, in terms of uh, press releases and that sort of thing. He does a great job. The executive director, I believe, is the yes, role. Yes, yes, executive okay. director. Okay. Well, he sent me this. A uh, couple of coaching positions are open at Mount St. Mary's. They're looking for a track coach. Uh, you need to get a hold of Sarah Galante if you have any interest in coaching that track team. Uh, Sarah Galante is your contact at Mount St. Mary's. And at Timon, Coach Licata is looking uh, for someone to, uh, the AD Licata is looking for someone to fill those shoes at Bishop Timon. And at Narden, they're looking for a JV and varsity lacrosse coach. Um, what we'll do is we'll put those email addresses on how to reach Coach Licata uh, at Bishop Timon, uh, Sarah at Mount St. Mary's, and it's Joe Botto at Narden. We'll get all their personal information or emails up on this uh, on the webcast you'll be able to see uh, where to go to uh, if you want to apply for those positions. Francis what do you got out of section six? Uh, this is from Tim Slay this is a few of his updates um, they they have decided now to uh, approve a team championship for boys golf that'll begin this spring um, they've also crowned their first annual section six dual meet champion that went to Lancaster in Division One and Falconer Cassidy Valley in Division Two. We'll have Matt work on. He'll talk a little more about that. Um, we have officials and negotiations will begin on March twelfth. The current agreement is, expires on in July. Um, 
Right now, Section 6 is working in conjunction with Buffalo State College on offering a sports officiating, officiating minor. They're also currently working with NTRIP. Um, let's see. Um, they are also looking at changing the rule for unified sports, uh, Section 6. And, and there's going to be... Then there's going to be awarding three scholarships for first-time attendees at the New York State Athletic Administrators Conference in Saratoga Springs, New York. That's going to be March 13th to 16th, uh, so watch out for that. Something about charter schools? Yeah, uh, they have now torn, formed a charter school uh, classification committee, so that could change by numbers going forward. That's a huge announcement, uh, if you think about it. you got... You know, a Monsignor Martin, you got Section 6, and then you have these charter schools, and where are they going to play? You know, because there are a lot of kids there that can play sports, and they need some kind of uh, organization, and here's an opportunity for them maybe to start working with Section 6 and getting those kids uh, some recognition. That... And they do have the athletes. I mean, you talk about Devontae oh, Gaines. Yeah. The, Absolutely. A lot of those basketball teams are very good. Absolutely. So that's pretty much our show for today. Uh, we'll bring in our guests, and we'll go from there. So thank you for joining us tonight on WNY Athletics High School Sports Weekly. And we'll take a timeout and uh, welcome in our sponsors.